game of the doubleheader between the Ohio Bobcats and the Miami Redhawks. The Bobcats rallied late for five runs in the ninth inning, but the Redhawks were able to hold them off as they secured an 8-7 victory. Miami pitcher Mac Thorson pitched five strong innings, only giving up four hits and zero runs to the Bobcats. Miami held a four-run lead through five innings, but pinch hitter Jensen Painter jacked a two-run bomb to cut the lead in half. Miami answered the next inning with four more runs in the seventh to take an 8-2 lead. This game looked over until the bottom of the ninth when the offensive spurt came out for the Bobcats, coming back to within one run of Miami until Garrett Black grounded out to end the game. The Bobcats look to come back in the second game as a bid for the MAC Pro Season Tournament is on the line. Tomcats pulled ahead in the second, but this was a 9-6 game in favor of the Tomcats after the first quarter. Yeah, Pat, definitely. Coach Richards uh, didn't start Jesse Spears tonight in the game. Did anyone step up tonight, though, for the Lady Tomcats? Yeah, Pat. Um, Janina Kane really stepped up and had 16 points tonight. A lot of that coming off the seven assists from Taylor Savage. Taylor Savage would just drive the lane, kick out baseline to Janina Kane, and she was shooting the lights out in that gym tonight. But Savage and Spears kept putting the team on their backs as usual. Savage with 16 points, 11 rebounds, and, and seven assists. And Spears with 21 points, nine rebounds, and seven steals in just two and a half quarters of, pl of play. However, Pat, it was really big for Janina Kane to step up heading into the playoffs because, as Pat Riley says, you really need three big players if you want to win a championship. But for Fed Hawk, it was all about Hart tonight. Yeah, and uh, arguably Hart's. How was the regular season turnout at Fed Hawk for this team? It was phenomenal, Pat. One of the best girls' high school basketball turnouts I've ever seen. There was great support from the fans, there was a high attendance rate, and there was a lot of cheering from everybody, whether it was at every three pointer and every layup. No matter what, they were cheering the whole entire game and kept going all the way through the fourth quarter. As well as after the game, they were greeted with hugs and flowers by their high school peers. And it was really one of those Q Taylor Swift songs kind of moments. Oh, Pat. yeah. 